BC. This massive 100,000 verse text contains stories about the ancient empire of Rama, which it is said existed over 12,000 years ago, or roughly 5,000 years before the earliest recorded civilization in Mesopotamia. If you read the ancient Indian epics, they read like modern day science fiction. Yet they're thousands of years old with references not only of flying chariots and of these gods that had these incredible technological capabilities, but incredible weapons that they used in those epic battles. They had what was called a Brahma weapon. There were many people that were singed and burned and, and melted by the Brahma weapon. Ancient astronaut theorists believed the Brahma weapon was an early nuclear device because the descriptions of its deadly after effects are eerily similar to the effects of exposure to intense radiation. It is a theory largely discounted by conventional science. There is no evidence that a nuclear bomb was described in the Mahabharata or the Bhagavad Gita. It describes a battle. In battles there are explosions, big explosions. It's one thing about suggesting that, you know, battles have explosions, but that's not really what we're looking at. You gotta look at the whole picture. One reference that we have, for example, speaks of these explosions that were brighter than a thousand suns. And when these blasts occurred, the suns were twirling in the air. Trees went up in flames and there was just this mass destruction. After those blasts, people who survive started to lose their hair and nails started to fall out. I mean, right there, we have a concise reference to radiation poisoning, nuclear fallout. And those texts are thousands of years old. But if the Mahabharata is based on fact, wouldn't archaeologists have uncovered physical or radiological evidence? According to ancient astronaut theorists, they have. The Indus Valley, southern Pakistan. In 1922, an officer with an Indian archaeological survey group discovered the ruins of an ancient city known as Mohenjo-Daro. According to mainstream archaeologists, the city, whose name means Mound of the Dead, had flourished between 2600 and 1900 BC. However, scientists in Pakistan have suggested Mohenjo-Daro is much older. Mainstream archaeologists believe the city was abandoned as a result of climatic changes or possibly a decrease in trade. But when the ruins of Mohenjo-Daro were discovered in the 1920s, 44 skeletons were found lying face down in the street, many holding hands. Their faces and body positioning suggested they suffered a sudden violent death. You have a culture of people who literally were lying dead in the street. Archaeologists have found human remains and something big has happened to these people. What in fact did happen to the people of Mohenjo-Daro? Why is there evidence that wild animals avoided scavenging their remains? And why, even after thousands of years, had their bones not decayed? In certain areas of that site, you find increased levels of radiation. And radiation exists all over the place. When all of a sudden you have higher levels of radiation in, in certain areas of the world, the question arises, why? Is it possible that Mohenjo-Daro 